Hello, hope you're good. This cake tin is from the 1980s. It's actually older than me. It is a Garfield three-dimensional cake tin. Let's have some fun with this today, but how did we get here? I've got a Garfield cake tin, like a one from, from the 80s, I suppose. Hang on, let me check. 1981. 1981, well, yep. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm younger yeah, than if it. If you're interested and you want to do a Garfield cake, it's mass, it's like, it's completely like 360 degree make yourself a cake model of Garfield. It's really weird, actually. I'll send you a picture. Well, my first question was like, oh, how big is it? Can you send me like your hand for scale? And I was like, oh, okay, we don't need a palette. It's not like an absolutely massive thing, but a really good size cake tin anyway uh, by Wilton from the 1980s. And he managed to find all the instructions. Unfortunately, a lot of the things on there are either missing or out of date, but we'll come on to that in just a bit. However, let me show you something. If you'll notice there's a bulldog clip on it, that shouldn't be there. This is stuck on by Blue Tack. however, the finished cake is supposed to have that on there. And it is in two halves like that. But I don't know if it's just me, but like just sticking that on there like that, even if it turns out quite poorly, that alone, I mean, that looks like Garfield. And it won't surprise you, I've not really seen Garfield at all, even the revamped stuff that's just come out. This should be okay. The thing that scares me the most out of all of this actually, is the decorating, which we'll, we'll come on to in a bit, but let's get this ready. Two massive halves like this. I have like almost pretty much sterilized this tin with it being so old. I've got to say the back side of it is way deeper. A lot more cake batter is gonna be going in there. So apparently that and a little dusting of flour clinging to the butter. Right, I've already made a mountain of cake batter. And it said like six cups of cake mix, but what I think I'm gonna do is fill it quite generously. And if it spills over, which is why I've got the baking tray, I can just cut it off. I'd rather have more than less. Are you a pint half full kind of person or a Garfield half full? <laughs> so we'll sit this in here. That brings us on to my other conversation with Stu and he was like, oh, it's supposed to come with these. And I clicked the link and it sent me to these like Wilton clamp things that were just so hard to get hold of. So my backup plan is uh, these things. Bulldog clips. I mean, they're all metal, and if I wrap them in foil, I've wrapped cardboard in foil before and it survived the oven. I think, I did check on the box. Are, are these heat proof? Doesn't tell me. I think we'll survive. And if I try and do this with you there. Oh my gosh, did you see that? I don't know if I've got a good shot of that. That is clamped on. And you know what? I mean, it's probably heat proof anyway. It's just like not the first task that one of these clips should be used for. I've got an absolute mountain of cake batter here that I made earlier. And I'm quite confident about pouring this fairly aggressively into there. Look at that! Yeah, I'm going for it. And you know, if that is quite close to the top. I could have filled the whole thing, but that would 100% spill everywhere. I mean, that will probably happen anyway. Oh, my oven is ready. Wow. Yeah, I really think this is gonna spill out. Oh my gosh, I need to go lower my shelf. I need to take the whole shelves out. Oops. Oh. Oh my gosh, take the eyes out. What are you doing? See you in an hour, my friend. Well, despite the craziness there, it isn't that bit that scares me at all. Like I say, if it overbakes and spills out, we can just cut it flush. Putting a bamboo skewer in later to see if it comes out clean will be fun. I'm not a master baker by any means. I would love to decorate it simply with fondant, and it's this bit that scares me. On the instructions, I had this images of these specific nozzles from Wilton and actually food dyes too, and I didn't even know if they existed. So I went to a well-known shop called Cobby Haft, uh, that is normally a specialist in Wilton stuff to see if I could source or forage for said things. I think these are the good stuff. This is like the proper high concentrate thing. So we'll get some of this. I need a four 16 and an 18, I found a 16. Look, this is an amazing chart. And I reckon I've got half of these in the cupboard at home, but I'm not sure. I don't know, this is crazy. But this is quite interesting, and look at all these tips. Oh, oh well, it doesn't matter, it's all gonna come out the same, isn't it? You can make a whole leaf out of that one. Yeah, it's a bit sad, but I could have stared at that piping nozzle chart for ages. Some of the designs were crazy. In the end, I resorted for this sort of like job lot basic pack thing, which is, you know, I'm, I'm so bad at it anyway, as you'll see, we'll just kind of, just kerfuffle our way through. It asked for a golden yellow colour, which I think expired in 1990, perhaps. I couldn't find it, so we've got orange, uh, brown, and maybe some grass for green. To, I, I don't know. Let's just see what it turns out like. Look at this thing. We've had a little bit of spillage on the side there. The clips have, have, have done their thing. It's risen along the top. That's been in there for a solid hour, though. But just before we get a bit too excited, let's push it right through. Oh, that's really dense. I've gone right to the bottom. <laughs> and that, surprisingly for me, has come out entirely clean. Right. 
There's actually a method to how this is cooled down and released. I was just gonna like turn it upside down and just take the whole thing out, but 10 minutes stood cooling down like that. It's filled up mostly, other than just a little bit on that front paw there. It might shrink back too, we'll see what happens, but there's not really much it can go. It then says to take it out of the stand, and what you do is you put it on one of the sides facing up like this. <laughs> Look at his butt. It's not telling me to do this, but I feel like this is a good time whilst it's joined together. Oh, look at that. So let's just see, I've got like a, a spatula a little bit thinner where I can get in, oh, I'm going into the grooves there. Let's just loosen it up. Okay, that's looking good. Just to, yeah, it needs separating. Wow, that's pretty welded, Barry. God, I'm feeling quite a lot of pressure here. This is like, it could all rip. Ooh. Oh, this is looking promising. Oh my word. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh no, I'm not, I'm not gonna tip it up. I'm not gonna tip it up. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. <gasps> it's sleeping. That has worked amazing. Right, I now need to let it cool. However, now that I've got this front side out, I'm gonna put some pasta on. Lasagna sheets, saucy meat mix. What am I gonna do while that cake cools down? Yes, we're gonna lasagna just how Garfield would want. Look at this, <laughs> this is crazy. Now, is this gonna work? I doubt it, but let's see. It's still trying to fall out there, so I'm gonna put a baking dish there just to see if it will bake like that. Here we go. I made some mess, but that killed some time. Let's get that cake out of the tin. Oh, that's so much cooler now. Oh my gosh. Oh no, okay, there's a teeny bit of cake left in the tin, but let's have a look. Oh, it looks like a little teddy bear. Oh, wow, uh, what happened to his foot? <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't actually, I filled it so much, but even then it's sunken down, it's got like half a foot. But can I just test something, that hence the lasagna thing. My point is, if you put eyes on it, look at that. Oh, <laughs> that's brilliant. Can we just, can I just stick that on? No. It's time to pipe. I really don't want to do this. I started to dye up some buttercream. So we've got some brown there with that food dye I got. This is the green stuff. Let me just show you, look how strong this goes. That's gonna, oh yes, look, we got ourselves some grass. All right, I'm gonna try and, oh, I'll tell you what, if I pipe it on here, cause start, this is- Start at the back. No, no, this is where I'm gonna, oh look, 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 look. That's working. I just wanted to practice where the eye patch is gonna go, yeah? That's, that's good. And they're only tiny. Right, where do I actually properly start? Yeah, start in the back. Good idea, Beck. This is gonna take a very, very long time. It looks like, so just leave it like that. It's got a necklace, it looks like a cat. Right, I'll see you once we get to a significant stage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going here. This is working really, really well. You just said it looks like a cat. It does. Garfield is a cat. Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, it needs some little topping up in certain areas still, but I am really happy with that. I'm just gonna wing the feet. I'm just gonna do like little bumps because they are roughly around there and we've only got one foot anyway. I feel like Bob Ross. See on the face, it seems to have like lines like this. So I'm just gonna go and just do a band. Oh, look at that. The only thing I'm thinking about right now is I just kind of wish it was a bit more of an interesting cake in the middle. It's just like gonna be like one big fat dense cake, isn't it? Look, Aww. look, 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 I'm just finishing off the last little bit of grass here. Oh, the grass makes it look so cool. That's what I thought. If I can't get the yellow, let's at least make it pop a bit, eh? Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, I wonder who else has used this. I don't even know where Stu got this from. Someone could be watching and be like, that was my cake <laughs> when I was a Give kid. it back. Oh, oh my gosh. <gasps> That's amazing. Mate, I'm gonna cry. Oh, I've not dad. even seen Garfield. It's like the Toy Story cake all over again we did for Phoebe's third birthday. <sighs> wow, two years ago. <laughs> I think it looks amazing. Do you know who that is? Andrew Garfield. Brilliant, Spider-Man, I know Spider-Man. <laughs> right, I left the oven on so this lasagna should still be warm, okay? <laughs> Do we think this has worked? I don't think it would have pressed it down enough but you never know, the heat might have softened it. Oh, it sort of worked. What the? Can you see? Oh, 
Look, I just put the eyes on it. Look, 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 look. <laughs> that is an actual lasagna Garfield. It looks like a mummy fight, Garfield. <laughs> All right, let's just slice into this right through. Oh no. This feels like an operation. Oh wow, look, look, look. It is proper lasagna. Oh. <laughs> yep. Wow. <laughs> what a day. Oh my God, that's amazing. Oh, look at that, that's good. I got the lasagna as well. The lasagna really looks like you've murdered Garfield. Yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of uh, fun going on there, but uh, yeah. Uh, it's, that's amazing. Garfield, mate, it's been emotional. I'm gonna go straight down the middle of this lovely cake. This poor cake. Let's see if we get that lovely symmetric. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. I still don't want to eat it though. I'll take a little bit off its paw. There we go. Mmm, that is no lasagna, but it's a pretty good cake. Cheers for watching. See you later. Lasagna, that's the answer. Ah. But you can't eat it on a Monday. You don't like Mondays. <laughs> Any thoughts, Eli? It's a stupid idea that um, Garfield doesn't like Mondays. He's a <laughs> <laughs> Literally, does, by definition, doesn't have to do <laughs> yeah, don't know what it. day of the week. <laughs>